well, the growing revolt you're already seeing in this country against this Labour government, uh, manifesting itself today with the huge farmer protest in Westminster, of course, at Labour's budget, is going to absolutely hammer farmers who we've seen targeted with some insane schemes such as in the Netherlands in the past. There were going to be up to 3,000 farms closed to comply with EU rules and indeed even forced buyouts to cut emissions. Absolutely balmy stuff. And what we get now from the Labour government in this country is this argument that farmers need to cough up and pay inheritance tax to fund the NHS. Well, if you actually boil this down, the around 560 million that you would raise from this, supposedly, uh, would account for about 25 hours of NHS spending. So please don't buy uh, that spin from Labour. Reform MPs showing their support in Westminster today. Nigel Farage getting a fantastic response from the protesting farmers there today. And indeed, he had a live stream with at one time today on X around 60,000 people watching. So enormously exciting to see those sorts of numbers online now outside of mainstream media. Now, of course, Jeremy Clarkson, very much part of this as well. He's got that fantastic uh, Clarkson's Farm show at the forefront of this today. It's really critical for people to know is just how quickly public opinion is shifting. Harry Cole here highlighting this JL Partners research that shows since the general election. Already, Keir Starmer, Rachel Reeves, Angela Rayner, support for them down big time. Nigel Farage up eight points. Keir Starmer down 29 points. And when it comes to Jeremy Clarkson, you see here 40% having a favourable view of Clarkson compared to 26% for Starmer. And when it comes to political parties in this country, just a seven point gap now is all you're looking at between reform, the Conservatives and Labour. Labour support clearly tanking as well as Starmer's popularity. Uh, do let me know what you make of that in the comments below, please, guys. Do head over to my Substack, my newsletter over at heva.news. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.